Throughout my gaming career, I've acquired numerous anime-type video games, and now I'm back once again to review them throughout the month of June. So get ready for Anime with Fear 2. We're in it for the long haul this time. <laughs> On the chopping block this week is the visual novel <sighs> Panzer Metals Tank Dating Simulator. Panzer Metals is one of those joke games you find on Steam every now and then. The kind where you lose respect for whomever in your friends list may be playing such a game. You play as Erwin, a human who is sent to tank school, which isn't a school for learning about tanks, no, but instead a school for tanks, which are anime girls in this case. If you didn't already guess by the main character's name, this game is full of World War II memes and tank jokes. Take a drink every time someone says tank penetration from the rear. It's great because you'll be dead before the second act. There are a lot of girl, oh, I mean tanks to choose from. There's the Panzer IV, M4 Sherman, T-34, Tiger One. But what really bugs me is that there's no Hotchkiss H-35. I don't know, maybe it was too on the nose for this game, but come on, no Hotchkiss? It's even fun to say. Hotchkiss. The game is as basic as basic visual novels get, and this is where the problems start. First, there's no graphical settings. The game will always run in a small window. Second, there's no option to change the text speed, which is painfully slow. Maybe they did this to pan out the length of the game, which is just under two hours. The artwork looks amateur deviant art tier, and I believe the backgrounds are all real photos put through a filter, similar to Katawa Shoujo, although I feel bad if they aren't. The soundtrack is pitiful, with only like three songs, as most of the game is stuck in pure silence, and the three songs that do play are all terrible. On the in before WWF scale from Sami Zayn, Roman Reigns, Chris Benoit, and Hulk Hogan, I'm giving this a Sami Zayn. While I understand the joke and tongue-in-cheek nature of the game, it isn't worth spending 10 bucks on a few standout moments while also waiting through a bunch of crap. Where for the same price you can pick up Neko Para, which has full voice acting, animation, and is at least decent. Anyway, that's my review for Panzer Mato's Tank Dating Simulator. I'll see you guys next time when I review another random anime game from my collection.